in what storage shed, there was some, some animal came around here. So footprints everywhere, and uh, over here, had a box on top of here, box knocked down, and there's fur here. I hope it didn't, didn't get that uh, fur here. I don't hope it didn't get the uh, little cat, the black cat. He used to sleep in the car. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Almost look like some look like footprints too, but they look like little animal tracks. Tracks in all directions. nothing missing but uh they keep the cats around There's lots of tracks here in all directions. There's supposed to be lots of snow coming still again. It's not ending yet. Surprised it melted pretty good. Those tracks like in all directions here. It's really strange. I don't know if they're footprints or not. I don't think they're footprints. Footprints kind of stand out. I don't know but they run in all, all kinds of directions everywhere so I don't know I'm talking about maybe snow tonight and then uh, snow to uh, tomorrow bit of a storm coming hmm I, th I think they're big coyotes or something. So I'm thinking probably chasing rabbits or something. There's a lot of rabbits in here. So I don't know what to say. Hmm. Cause I haven't been here since for a couple days anyways. There's so much snow. You can see, you can see the claw marks. See that? So I don't know. Okay, well, Joe said there's a big uh, a cooler or something up the road here, so I'm going to check it out, a commercial one, might have stainless steel in there, so I'm going to go, go back, check that out, okay, stay tuned. Look how heavy it is. Pretty heavy, but I don't know if we get in. Let's see, this stupid door coming down all the time.
stainless steel on the top, maybe. Stainless steel. Actually, pretty heavy. Might not be able to get it in because it's uh, bulky. Real bulky. Not gonna fit the top. Slippery too. Okay, well, I don't think it'll fit sideways or not. It's way too heavy. And slippery, by the way. Yeah, I have to see. Come back later or something. It's too bad. Pretty heavy, this thing. Okay, it's in. That's all I gotta worry about. I'm gonna put it in my bin so I can strip it in my bin, at least take the stainless off it. Okay. I got some mortars here. Just uh, each a mouse. So it looks like we've got a brass pin here, a power brass a bushing of some sort. Hmm. 
So we get brass there. That's clean. So brass, They're pretty heavy. Steel, more garbage here. That's cast there. There you go. Let's say maybe snow tonight and snow tomorrow. Um, tonight, tomorrow, kind of thing. It's hovering like close to zero, so anything can happen. So let's just take the bearing out. Clean. We'll try the sawzall. Fucking sawzall. It. We'll try. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We'll see. He just just wants to uh, just tear it. So not working. Which is a pain, but uh, that's what it is. It's copper, anyways, was the good part. I don't know how much bleed here. Might work.
And let me cut the next one, and I'll, I'll strip it. Stand by. Okay, both stripped out. I uh, actually both cut. I mean. Half the other thing out. Turn away so. This one I gimped up here because I cut it a little bit wrong. But anyways, basically out. I don't know why this one. Oh, because yeah, that's what I did. This I cut opposite, so I left some inside. That's the problem. So I had a partial cut already. I would have cut it on the same side, but I was just so afraid. I didn't want to deal with it, if you know what I mean. Okay. So, those two mortars went pretty easy. Okay. Okay, so we got uh, a few more little mortars here for that little garbage can there. Usually it comes out really easy, but uh, it's a little tough for this one. Tough on this one. Usually, uh, crunch is easy, but this one's a little harder. Well, that's a tough one. this little thing in the center here usually pops out I crack it with this thing
really coarse wire this one Usually it's more fine, one's really coarse. This one's a little bit in there, but it's still there. A little more here. It's actually steel inside there. Brass here. Piece of brass. Plastic. Use this one like this and use the force of the table. Right. Table one side on the ground, and you're just going straight up. Watch your fingers because you'll cut your fingers off. Not watching. Gloves are ratty, sticking to my gloves. Okay, plastic. Some pieces here. Not bad. All that copper, just in a couple things. One more small thing there. Grass there. Plastic. Get a little mortar here. First two mortars are from a ceiling fan. I'm not a ceiling fan, an exhaust fan for over, over the range exhaust. A piece of brass there. If you're there, you might as well pop it off, right? That's how I look at it. There it is. It's all stripped. Okay, this will add a value. This thing's sitting around. This one should be stainless steel. This one can just smash it. So a couple of rusted screws there, but not gonna do anything. Cut them off. Cut 
burgers are twisting them. Stainless. Right there, stainless. Another piece here somewhere. This thing here. It's got real fine screws here, but it's so rusted. Forget it. Stainless. There it is, stainless. May not be very much, but the added value adds up. Okay. It's a toroid, but it's uh it's insulated wire. So you gotta take out the toroid. Smash it. Rusty just go in your scrap steel. There. Steel. Yeah, it's actually a pot metal, but it was really rusty. So pot metal will go in there. There it is, a piece of brass right there. A little plastic. Let's just So we're dealing with this thing here now. You don't have that much insulator. The insulator could be uh, toxic. Oh, it's, it's already broken my uh, magnet. It's too bad. Oh, it usually pops off real easy, but. Sometimes, like I say, see right there, it's just a, right between there, I got a slide. See that? Piece of brass right there. So I lost one magnet. The other one should be good. Save your magnets for scrap metal. Just put them on something so you never run into magnets no more. And sometimes they'll, they'll come off easy, but you just put, cut a little slit in it. Come right off too. I just prefer just to cut them. 
So here's your. So between here is copper, steel on either end, but the center is copper. That one says pretty good, like an ounce or something, but I just don't want to waste blades just to get a little bit of copper. Blades are get expensive, right? But people do them. Just I don't think it's worth it for my my time, but if I can get some sort of press system or something. The whole thing is hard. Usually, just pops off like nothing. And then I'll we'll have the copper here. And this copper there. Five value. This main is broken, so I'm not gonna bother. This takes a certain socket here, and the problem is I don't have that socket, so I'm just going to smash it. Like that. And then, uh... Oh, it doesn't want to go. So reverse it. I thought maybe it might come off, but it doesn't want to come off that way. So, my scripts are sitting outside. Oh, it's a tough one. Wow. It's in there pretty tough. You don't have a socket, right? You do what it takes to get stuff done. Hmm. The palm disappeared on the ground somewhere. Ah, oh, come on. What's over here? Usually it falls on the ground, but this time it didn't. There's your brass. It's actually brass, huh? Normally they're not brass, it's usually pot metal or some kind of steel. So, it had a little more value. Let's see if I can at least get it off. brass normally it's like a, a pot metal okay so a little bit different version this one actually opened a little different not normal the way I want it to open, but there it is. Even this thing has, usually that's plastic and that's cast. There will be a little piece of plastic here. Cast.
There it is, stripped. Just like that. Okay. Okay. I don't want to damage the insulator, so I'm just going to cut it off. Because it might be able to sell these without processing as dirty. With the insulator on, they may not buy it, but... Hmm. I was thinking it might be able to uh, just tighten, tighten it really tight. And it may break the weld there to seam or something, I'm thinking. Uh, that'd be something. Better way to this. Maybe I can get the axe. I'm trying to avoid use, using blades. Blades cost money, right? steel on there like that but uh probably not the best way but I'm trying to figure ways of saving time or not time but blades up on that one a bit but Most guys use a saw, like a sawzall or a grinder. Just trying to find a better way, but it's actually got a lot of weight to it, actually. But I might be able to sell them dirty. Let's see what kind of uh, weight that is. Put something on there. Try to get something off it. Need something a little heavier. Not worry about this one here. Point five. So point six, point seven. So, huh? Good weight, actually. It's all copper here now. So I probably lost a little bit of weight, but I have I had another one somewhere kicking around. I'll take a grinder to not a grinder, but a sawzall to another one. We'll see, but you can see it's really heavy, two tenths of a pound. So you need about five or six of them to make a pound, I would think. Probably. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, we try if we can try with this one here. to get it started. Not too bad. Not too bad. Hmm. 
It's almost like there's aluminum mixed in there. I just don't know. That's just a little spider web of stuff. There might be some aluminum here mixed in a little bit. Hmm. A little dirty, but uh, we'll see. Try to cut the next one. Better than a grinder. There's some foreign metals in there. That's the problem with not 100% clean. You'd have to uh, punch it out a bit. I don't normally strip these because it's. There's a little spiderweb aluminum in there. But, uh, you know, maybe it still could be number two. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. First one was almost all copper, almost. This is all copper. This one has got a little bit. Anyways. I don't know, it's added value, however you want to do it. Just gotta explore. Okay, I think that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like. As always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.